Tom Udall and Dave Bitter have been patient, determined, and open. We've had an ongoing conversation for months, if not longer. I remember how I was uh, inspired to get into this, not just because of my friendship with Frank and Bonnie Lautenberg and how much it meant to them, but because of an expose in the Chicago Tribune about flame retardant chemicals that are put in furniture across the United States. It turns out they aren't flame retardant. There were representations made about these chemicals which just weren't backed up by fact. And secondly, in and of themselves, they were dangerous. I could never sit down on a couch in front of my grandkids without thinking I'm spraying these chemicals right into their face because of the cushion that I'm sitting on. I never could get it out of my mind. And I thought to myself, we ought to be able to do something about it. The fact is, under the existing law, there was very little that we could do about these unsafe chemicals that were still being used. The Environmental Protection Agency didn't have the authority under the Toxic Substances Control Act to force industry to take these chemicals off the market. This bill will change that. So I sat down with a friend of mine, Ed Markey. We go back to the House days, and I respect him so much for his career there and for his leadership in the Senate. And we said, we're not on this bill yet. There are two or three things that are important to us. And we went to Tom Udall, we went to Dave Vitter, we sat down, we worked with him. And what I said about being open, they accommodated our changes, the things that were necessary. And I'm proud to say today, I don't know which one of us can uh, claim the distinction, but we are the 59th and 60th co-sponsors of this, which is a, an historic number in the United States Senate. A lot of Americans by generations have had to tolerate a lot of unsafe chemicals in their lives and they didn't know it and there was no one there to protect them. With the passage of this bill, we will change that. Thank you.